Hello everybody, this is Junior Gamer back for another episode of the Wicked Win Tournament and we are concluding the quarter-final round. Yes, we'll have three matches here with the Lillian Sterners taking on Eustreptospondylus, Majungasaurus going up against Sejungasaurus and Indosuchus taking on Dilophosaurus. Right, and without further ado, let's go on with the first matchup. Alrighty then, in the red corner we have a Lillian Sturgis. <laughs> Sorry, I was just double checking my microphone was working because I was recording yesterday and my microphone wasn't working. So I'm just double checking that it's working and it is. Anyway, in the blue corner we have the Eustreptospondylus. The two I probably the two more the two more outsiders in this tournament. One of them will get to the semis and one of them will be going home. And again, for those that are new. This will be a best out of three, and whoever wins that best out of three will be going through to face the Neo Venator. We've had a lot of upsets in this tournament. You know, it's good to see. Ooh, ooh, we've got a Sonic Blast, and it's coming from the Eustreptus Bombardus. Boosh! Blow him away! Whee! Boosh! Blech. And I think that lowers its defences. So yeah, I do need to update my move card video. Oh, another tie. And here comes another Sonic Blast! You've stripped the Spondylus off to a decent start. And more t defensiveness lowered. Can the Lillian Sterner strike back, or can the Eustreptospondylus secure a 1-0 lead? Oh, the Eustreptospondylus does get a hit back. Ooh, hold on a minute here, the Eustreptospondylus putting up a fight. And a Cyclone as well, which means no more Sonic Blasts for the Eustreptospondylus. Yep, and there's our Cyclone being useful, and the Diving Press is coming in to finish off you Streptospondylus, and give Lillian Sternus a 1-0 lead. Well, the you Streptospondylus didn't, technically didn't actually get a hit, it just got off two Sonic Blasts. But you know, Lillian Sternus looking mightily impressive. Right, now, on to round two. Okay, I do have a slight correction to make here. With both of these dinosaurs, actually, because <coughs> I gave them the wrong win moves. So instead of having, actually, no, only Lillian Sternus. Instead of having Tornado Toss, which Lin which I assigned for Lillian Sternus, it had Sonic Blast instead. But that's been corrected now, so it has Tornado Toss like it's supposed to have. So it's more of an attack minded move, and the Eustreptospondylus still has Sonic Blast. Oh, 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 we're gonna see Tornado Toss! Right off the bat. Oh, look at that damage. A decent amount of damage done here. Wait, what? Oh, oh, <laughs> oops. Oopsie! But anyway, another tornado toss coming in, and I think this might actually be lethal. And if it is, it'll be a 2-0 win for the Lillian Sterners. Yep, yeah, that was quick, wasn't it? Wow. The poor who stripped the Spondylus didn't even get a hit. Didn't get one hit off in the whole match. I mean, the only hits it did get off was Sonic Blasts. It didn't actually get an official hit. Well, dominance from the Lillian Sterners here as they advance to the semi-finals, where they will face the Neo Venator. Right, Dio, on to our next matchup, which sees probably one of the tournament favourites now, Majungasaurus, taking on the outsider, the Sejuangasaurus. Okay, in the red corner we have, well, the red, red, white and black Majungasaurus. Which is fitting, because it's in the red corner, and it's, re and it's mostly red. But anyway, the Majungasaurus, one of the few heavy hitters in this tournament to actually survive their first match. 
I mean, the bronze is a kind of an exception, because, you know, they have to play each other, but still. The heck, one of the only heavy hitters to actually make it this far. But it'll be tough, because in the blue corner, we have the, we have the rogue that defeated the Megaraptor, the Sejuangosaurus. Of course, just a reminder that the Sejuangosaurus only won because of that dino illusion. Otherwise, Megaraptor would have won. But I, but I digress. Can the Jungasaurus do what Megaraptor could not? Or can Sejuangosaurus pull off another upset? Oh, that's a tie. Ty probably shoot the Jungasaurus more. Seem to take less damage. However, that will suit the Sejuangosaurus more. And in comes the Lillian Kiwa to cure it up of that time. Ooh, and a... Yeah, Cyclone. Of course it's Cyclone. Yes, a Cyclone as well, which means no more ties this time. But, the Majungasaurus does get off the hit. It's a Dromeo Rush. And it's a Hurricane Beat, which means big damage is coming Sejuanosaurus' way. But, will that Dino Illusion be triggered? Oh, oh my goodness, it almost killed it! Hold on a minute, what type is this Majungasaurus? It, it, mu it must be counter type. Yeah, it has to be counter type. I, I, I forget which codes I use, okay? Give me a break. It has to be counter type. Hang on. Oh, well, the Sejuangosaurus got the hit, but it does not have the Dino Illusion to protect himself. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a yeah, it's a counter type one. Wow, that did so much damage. I mean, Majungasaurus is moves are balanced, so its crit doesn't do that much more damage than its scissors and paper moves. So, using Hurricane Beat on Majungasaurus is pretty, is still pretty good, as you saw there. Well, that is game over for the Sejuangosaurus, and the Majungasaurus takes a one 0 lead. Hmm, how crucial could it have been to not have that Dino Illusion? If Sejuangosaurus had the Dino Illusion, could, would this round have been different? Mm, I'd probably say the Majungasaurus would still win, because the Sejuang would need two hits, whereas the Majung would only need one. But anyway, round one goes to the Majungasaurus. But can the Sejuangosaurus even the score in round two? Alright, right, round two between these windy adversaries. Can the Majungasaurus secure that 2 0 win, which will book his place in the semi final? Or can the Sejuangosaurus pull this match back? Let's see! Oh, look, I love Majung. Every game, every, like. game, TV show, documentary, movie, anything that Majungasaurus is in, always seems to look nice. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, oh, hit my microphone, man. We open up with a tie. We opened up with a tie last time. Oh, we're getting another tie. Ooh, the Sejuangosaurus gets off the first hit. There comes the Lillian Cure to heal, to cure up a minute amount of health. Ooh, here comes Cyclone. Cyclone was actually useful in the last round matchup between these two. But it didn't help the Sejuang win. Oh, it dodged the hurricane beat and got off a crit. Says Sage Wongasaurus definitely on top here, but one hurricane beat can change all that. Oh, that's a tie. Sadly for the Sejuang, the cyclone effect has disappeared. This this has disappeared. I I, I don't I don't even know what I was gonna say, okay? Well, what I will say though is that the Sejuangosaurus has indeed even the score, and we're at one apiece going into the final round matchup between these guys. So, speaking of that final round, let's get on with it. Ooh, it all comes down to this. Who has enough fuel left in the tank to, to win? Who can, who can survive the longest? Can the Sejuang get off the Dino Illusion? Will the Majungasaurus get off the Hurricane Beat? But we're about to find out. Round three. Boy. Oh, we open up with a tie. We open up with a tie in all of their matchups. 
But this time, the Majungasaurus gets off the first hit. In the last two, it was the Sejuan, but this time, it's Majungasaurus. Oosh! Kickies! Ooh, but the Sejuanosaurus answers back with a head of his own, and the Lillian Cure will never know how handy that could be. <coughs> of course, Hurricane Beat will still kill it, so does, does it does Lillian Cure really make a difference? Probably not, but Hurricane Beat is not what Majungasaurus goes for. Oh, that's another type. I mean, it doesn't matter, count the type or not. It's in killing range of Hurricane B. Ooh, but Sejuanosaurus gets the crit. And the Cyclone. Has that Cyclone just won it for Sejuan? The odds are in his favour now. Anything other than a loss will do it. Oh, it's Tata Machunk! The Vajungasaurus, the candy cane killer, has been bested by the purple rogue, the Sejuangosaurus. And wow, the Sejuangosaurus, what a hit this. Defeating the Megaraptor and the Majungasaurus, and will be advancing to the semi-finals. Could Sejuangosaurus win? Could we see Sejuangosaurus win the Wicked Win Tournament? Well, well, we'll just have to wait and see, won't we? But, enough about that matchup. On to our final matchup of this video, and the final matchup of the quarterfinal round, which sees... Oh, everybody forgot. Indosuchus taking on the Alpha Dilophosaurus. Well, here we are, our final matchup of the quarterfinal round. And in the red corner, we have the Indosuchus. The obscurity of the wind dinosaurs? Not much is known about it. But we definitely saw what it can do after it defeated Ace in the first round of the tournament. Okay, in the blue corner we have the Alpha Dilophosaurus, who also looked pretty decent in its first match of this tournament. Can it pull off the win against the, ro the Rogue Indo Supers, or can the unknown continue his charge in the tournament? Ooh, this is going to be an interesting match, because I don't know who's going to win. Well, I never know who's going to win, but I can always make a logical guess, or like... There's always a... There's always some advantage that other, some dinos will have over others, like health and attack, stuff like that. Oh, we open with a tie. Tie dealing probably the same amount of damage to both of our combatants. Oh, that's another tie. And again, <laughs> who will get the first hit? The answer is Indosuchus, and the Tappy Jara dive to come, along with a stomping hammer. Ooh, boosh, boosh, <laughs> Split, wow, that's, that's broken legs for the Dilo, and a broken spine probably. Ooh, a Cyclone as well, Indosuchus. Getting off the first hit, and it's quite the big one. Now that Alpha Dilophosaurus simply has to get a hit off here, or the Indosuchus will win round one. Ooh, the Dilo does get off a hit. Indosuchus damaged there, no Jet Shuriken though, and the Cyclone effect has dissipated. That's what I was going to say. However, Indosuchus will not be needing the Cyclone effect. Oh, oh, it doesn't finish it off. Oh, wow. The Alpha Dilophosaurus hanging on by a thread. That's probably because this Alpha Dilo is defense type. If it was the poison type one, then it would have died. Well, it doesn't matter anyway because the Indosuchus wins round one. After a series of ties, the Indosuchus tightens the screw and secures a, wa a round one win. But. It is not over yet, the Alpha Dilophosaurus can still come back in round two. Alrighty then, round two between the Rogue and the Alpha Dilo. Can the Alpha Dilo even the score, or can the Indosuchus book their place in the semi final? Oh yeah, I should also take this time to note that in one of my previous videos, I did mention doing a Dinosaur King tier list. 
and a lot of people seem to want it, so I am going to do one. How I will do this will be, well, it'll be simple. I won't do it all the dinosaurs in one tier list. I'll be doing each dinosaurs in their separate element. So I'll be doing fire, water, lightning, earth, grass, wind, secret. So that, and then move cards and super moves. And that's, that's how I plan to do it. So yeah, that will be coming soon. I mean, I have, to, I have to do a bit of work on it first and getting all the icons and such, but it shouldn't take too long. And I do have to do a little bit of more research into other dinosaurs as well that I don't know as much about. Like, like Indosuchus, because I don't know that much about it. But I don't know what I, you know, the stats and such, so yeah. A lot of work to do before I can actually put it up, but, you know, I will put it up. It will be coming, it will be coming soon. Hopefully sometime next month. Well, back to the match. And the Indo Supers dominates round two to take a 2 0 win against the Alpha Dilophosaurus and advance into the semi finals. Uh, commiseration for the Alpha Dilo there. I don't even think they got. Oh, uh, yeah, it got off one hit. And that was it. The Indo Supers proven too strong. And that will conclude the quarter final round. So let's have a look at our matchups for the semis. Well, look at that. I mean, I, I don't even. I can't even decide. Who I think will win this tournament now. Like, who do you think's gonna win this tournament? Put a comment down below. Who do you think's gonna win out of these six? Um, I would probably say Rugops or the Serap. I probably say these two are the favourites, and whoever wins this matchup here will probably win the tournament. But as I said, that's a big probably, because you know, it's been such an open tournament this win tournament. You know, you saw the Fire di Tournament. And you saw how the, the gold dinosaurs in particular were able to just stomp their opponents. And in the uh, top three, I believe it was Simo Tyrannus, which was the only non... Like... Foil dinosaur to make it. And then you had Mapusaurus and... Who else was it? I can't remember who it was. Um, I think it was... Oh, I, I honestly can't remember. But I'm pretty sure it was a gold dinosaur. Actually, I'll have, I'll have a double check. I'll have a double check real quick. See who made it in the final. I know it was Mapusaurus, Simon Tyrannus, and I think it was... Um, I honestly can't remember. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Give me a sec. Ah, that's it. The Alpha Acrocamphosaurus. So, yeah... Not really, you know, other than the Simo Tyrannus, not really a surprise to see the other two in the final. And then you had the water tournament where we had Brontokin, Spinotector, and Spinosaurus. You know, the three main heavy hitters. And then obviously Secret Showdown is the exception because all the dinosaurs are gold rares, but this win tournament's been very open. Hell, all the gold dinosaurs were knocked out in the first round. <laughs> it's, it's been awesome, I love it, I love it. And for the first time ever, we're going to see a non-gold dinosaur win, win a tournament, mini tournament. And I should also mention that the winner of this Wicked Win tournament will go into my champions team for my next big tournament, which is, which is well, whenever it is, whether it'll be in August or in, in January 2022. I mean, I'm at 805. 195 to go. You know, it's, do I can, it's doable. You know, it's, it's doable. I could reach a thousand before August. And if I do, my big tournament will be coming in August. Yes. But anyway, that is the... S yeah, I just, got, I just got a battle going on in the background for noise. Um, yeah, that will conclude the quarterfinal round. So, stay tuned for next time, where we'll see... Rugops taking on Ceratosaurus. Neo Venator going up against Lillian Sternus and Sejuanosaurus taking on Rugop. No, not Rugop, Indosuchus. And until then, this has been your host, Stranger Gamer, signing out.